everybody, this is Wilson, giving you a real estate market update for the week of July 20th. Sales to list prices first. Uh, the first chart, chart that we're gonna review together. As you can see, July is still trending for a slight edge above last month and the previous month for list to sales price. Days on market is uh, catching up because it's actually not quite accurate with uh, some properties that are being sold that had frozen days on market in the past. So be on the lookout as the trends continue its course. We do anticipate that list of sales price is gonna stay right around 100 to 101%. And that's because people are pricing transparently and people are buying homes uh, closer to list price. Homes were available versus sold in San Mateo County. As you can see so far in July, it's a trend upwards in terms of homes that come up for sale. We do see that the number of homes sold is trending less than the previous month. So that's something to keep in mind and be aware of. That also might show that buyers are potentially taking a break or their plans have changed or overall the confidence might be changing a little bit uh, as inventory increases. So with more inventory increases, it might be a good time for buyers out there to consider looking at homes again because there's going to be more options. Specifically, some cities, Daily City, uh, inventory is very similar to last month, yet the number of solds with at least a week to go uh, is probably going to end the month exceeding the number of solds of last month. So in South San Francisco, we see a bit of a spike in inventory. It's almost matching the height of in any given month in the last 12 months of inventory. And sales are probably going to end up around where it was last month. In San Bruno, it is also a uh, increase in inventory slightly, and it's the most in the last 12 months. Sales are probably going to end up similar to where it was last month. In Millbrae, it's a big increase from June to July, and uh, it's not the peak of the last 12 months. However, as you can see, the number of sales is uh, significantly less, at least half of so far of the previous months so far this year. In Burlingame, there's also a slight increase in inventory and also sales are lagging a bit. It's very likely that if you see a trend here, a lot of people um, are probably not committed to buying or prices are priced so transparently or at expectations of what sellers are expecting that it's priced above what the actual value is. So that's something to be aware of when you're looking at list price and properties. In San Mateo, we also see an increase in terms of number of listings. In Redwood City, it's the same thing. So overall, you're seeing an increase of inventory across the board in our county. Next is months of inventory. We're trending to have the highest amount of months of inventory in July, and I think that's on par with every other graph that we saw so far. Sales price over time, in San Mateo County and specifically the cities that we were just reviewing. It peaked in March right when COVID hit and as you can see there was a gradual decline in the median sales price and also uh, last month or so far this month you've seen a slight increase from last month for sales price. Current interest rates they haven't changed for a 30-year fixed rate jumbo it's at 3.25 APR is about 3.3 and in showing time, track showings in California, we're seeing still an increasing trend of number of showings. If you have any specific questions, if you want us to pull any stats for a specific area, please feel free to reach out and we hope this is helpful. Until next week.